Our next speaker is Jenny Morgan. Diversifying the genetic counseling workforce, a local educational initiative. The right medicine for the right person at the right time. Personalized genomic medicine promises to revolutionize healthcare through improved disease prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. Rapid advances in genetic technologies are ushering in this era of genomic counseling, yet few healthcare providers are equipped to facilitate genetic testing decisions and to interpret yielded results. Consequently, there is an ever-growing demand for genetic counselors who are specially trained to provide these services. As a future genetic counselor, I'm excited about my promising career outlook and the potential to significantly improve patient care. On the other hand, I am concerned that genomic medicine may further increase healthcare disparities among racial and ethnic minorities for whom there is unequal access to and utilization of genetic testing and genetic counseling services. Because diversity in healthcare professions is linked to better patient access to care, quality of care, trust, communication, and satisfaction, it's essential not only to expand but also to diversify the genetic counseling workforce in order to meet the growing needs of an increasingly diverse population. At minimum, a healthcare workforce should reflect the racial and ethnic uh, makeup of the patients it serves. A side-by-side -side comparison of the genetic counseling profession and the U.S. population reveals a gross underrepresentation of black and Hispanic genetic counselors. This disparity is reflected among genetic counseling trainees and is unlikely to change for as long as genetic counseling programs fail to recruit minority students. UAB's genetic counseling program is located in a city where 98% of public high school students are black or Hispanic. So how do we attract the students at our very doorstep? What can we do to make sure that a simple lack of early awareness, a long identified recruitment barrier, does not prevent these students from considering careers in genetic counseling? To address these questions, I partnered with UAB's Science Education Outreach Program to, um, sorry, <laughs> um, which, all, which has a lot of programs that offer a lot of opportunities to engage students in genetic counseling conversations. I conducted a discussion and activity-based lesson for students enrolled in a summer science institute, and pre-post data comparisons showed an increase in knowledge of and interest in genetics and genetic counseling among participants. Now, whether or not any of these 43 students becomes a genetic counselor remains to be seen. Certainly, this effort alone is not enough to increase the pool of diverse applicants to genetic counseling programs. Um, however, it does provide proof of principle that educational interventions can effectively reduce a major barrier to the recruitment of underrepresented minorities. More importantly, my project sets into place a model partnership which can promote the ongoing concerted effort necessary to recruit the high school students of today in order to meet the healthcare needs of tomorrow. Thank you.